Hello, this video shows how to connect to a server using SSH with private keys. This is more secure than simply using passwords and it is the recommended way to access servers in the Amazon cloud. I use on Windows XShell from NetSarang I find it an excellent shell uh, and it does a really nice job of managing sessions. And since I host a number of sites, it's it's nice that it organizes and remembers things the way it does. We're going to create a new connection. We're going to name it based on the server that it's on. and then give it the name of the user we're logging in as. We're going to use the actual host name. Now we have to go to authentication. Here instead of password we're going to switch this to public key. Username is EIF and I need to import the key which I've just downloaded. I name the key as the host name underscore the user. I should make a note that it's possible to have multiple valid keys for a single user on a particular host. This is not passphrase protected otherwise we would put the passphrase in here. One thing I do not care for in their terminal emulation is blinking text. You end up seeing that with the man page and it's irritating. That's, you say OK. Now it opens up the list of sessions and this list of sessions you can manage them in folders you can order them. It's, it has nice grouping capabilities. We're going to connect. This is the first time we've connected so we're going to say accept and save. And we are in. I hope you find this helpful. Good day.